join me today. We're on our last week learning about the miracles of Jesus. So today's big idea is dead end. Road signs tell us what's ahead. Speed bumps, forks in the road, hazards, or sharp corners. So this road sign says dead end. When you see this, it means the road is coming to an end. It doesn't go any further. The road runs out and there's no more and you can't keep driving on. And we might think life has a dead end, that at some point it comes to a stop 
and there's no more after that. But we read in the Gospels that with Jesus, what people thought was the end really wasn't. Jesus has power, so much power over death. For some of the people that Jesus met, death was not their end. We read about Jesus bringing his friend, his really, really good friend, Lazarus, back to life. We also read about the son of a widow and Jairus' daughter coming back to life. Everyone around them thought it was the end. But with Jesus, was it really the end? No, because he raised the dead to life again. Jesus has power over sin and death, friends. Jesus says in John 11, 25, 26, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Through Jesus' death and resurrection, death isn't the end for us either. For those that love Jesus, we are forgiven and will have eternal life. Eternal life means there's no end of the road. Life that goes on and on forever and ever. So friends, don't ever forget that Jesus has power over death. Let's take a look at our big story and big message to learn more about the power Jesus has over death. And I'll see you soon. One day, Jesus was traveling through a town called Nain. He was with his disciples and a large crowd was following them. When they had arrived at the gates of the town, they noticed that a man was being carried out. Very curious, they went to see what the fuss was about. There, they discovered that the man was lying down, still not moving. He had died and was being carried out beside a woman who was his mother. This man was her only son, and she had just become a widow after losing her husband. Jesus' heart went out to the widow. Don't cry, he said, filled with compassion for her. This widow had not only lost her husband, but has now lost her only son. Since she no longer had a husband, her son was her hope for the future. Without him, she had nothing left. Life for a widow in the time of Jesus was very tough, and even tougher for those who had not had children. This woman knew that every day from that day forward was going to be a battle. Jesus went to the men who were carrying the coffin. They stood very still as Jesus leaned toward the man and spoke to him, saying, Young man, I say to you, arise. How could a dead man rise up again? This was impossible. But as Jesus spoke those words, the man slowly sat up and then began to speak. He had come to life again. From what seemed like the end, Jesus called him back to life for a new beginning. The entire crowd were in awe and erupted in praise, giving glory to God as the mother embraced her son. News of this miracle spread like wildfire to people near and far. What may seem like the end can be a new beginning with God. Jesus is more powerful than anything, even death itself. The result of sin is death. But Jesus died on the cross and rose again, conquering sin and death so we can have life forever. For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Jesus has power over death. Previously on Big. Today could be the day where we finish Super Action Rescue Mission 7. There's a hospital in the game. We can go there and restore ourselves to full health. Woohoo! One, two, three.
known in the gamer community as Five Day Dan. No matter what the game, I can complete it in five days. Well, Super Action Rescue Mission 7 has been a bit of a challenge. I only got it Monday, and I haven't slept since. Luckily, nobody's noticed my cunning plans to get a nap in. Because of the taco shortage, I propose we cancel Taco Tuesday. What? Uh, no. I agree. Oh, thanks, FMD. But don't worry, we can replace it with something else. Excellent idea! Thanks, FMD. Oh, I was thinking, corn on the cob Tuesday. Uh, what? No. Idea. That doesn't even start with a T. I think you're onto something. Thanks, FMD. It is so nice to have some support for a change. How about next Friday? Next Friday? Couldn't agree more. When's lunch? Today's the day I finally complete the game. Work is finished, the girls are running the game show, and I'm going to live up to my name, Five Day Dan. All right, everyone. We're live in three, two, one. Hello, everybody, and welcome to... RPG! Yeah! My name's Audrey, and I'm joined by my beautiful co-host, Becky. Thanks, Audrey. And speaking of beautiful people, let's welcome our contestants. Let's bring them out. First up, we've got Amy. She's 12 years old, she loves to read, ride her bike with friends, and go on family vacations. Then there's John, and he's 10 years old and he loves all things sports. Soccer, tennis, basketball, baseball. Wow, what an active boy. And finally, we have our reigning champion who's back to do what no one has done before. Win five games in a row. He loves computers and joke books. Please welcome Will! Five wins, Will! Five wins, Will! Five wins, Will! Wake up, Cecil! The whisk kid is on! Oh, Mr. President, I believe you saw the uprising in Bolivia with a pomegranate. Our favorite contestant is on, Cecil. What? I said our favorite contestant is about to play. What? It's the whiz kid. Ah, yes, I do need to take a whiz. Where's the bathroom? Good to see you, Will. <laughs> William is the most amazing contestant we've ever had. No one has won more than two games in a row, and he has won four. And if he wins today, he wins the grand prize. It's very exciting. How are you feeling, Will? Well, I'm a bit nervous, but I've come up with a nickname to help me keep confident. Five win, Will. <laughs> okay, Five Day Dan, you can do this. All right, settle down. This is Dark Crush coming at you with our latest jam. Rock on! All right, boys, here's your theme for today. Puedes hablar español mi hombre. A Jesus has power over death. I want poetry with every breath. He's holy. Uh, who's holy? And righteous. Do you know who we're talking about? He's worthy. Are we talking about my baker, Frank? And marvellous. No, Jesus. It was a sad, sad day in the village in Nain. A widow's son had passed away. She wouldn't see him again. This is devastating news for anyone to hear. Especially a widow who would no one to care. But Jesus stopped the funeral with a single command. He raised the son from the dead. Get up and stand! He's getting up, the crowd exclaimed. He got back his breath. I love the times that Jesus showed his power over death. He's holy. Just like my socks. Uh, no. And righteous. He's right, not wrong. Better. He's worthy. Oh, of our praise. Five day Dan was, was on, on fire. fire. Oh, well done. Next question. What is the capital of Spain? Or well, something is Barcelona. <laughs> but it's actually Madrid. Correct. <laughs> yes. He's doing very well. Yes, the way he got that power up was fantastic. What are you talking about, you old prune? He, he just got a question, right? What? Oh, uh, never mind. Next question. How many continents are there in the world? Will. Uh, 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 six. That is. Uh, 
incorrect. Ah, oh. oh, that's a tough blow. Yes, it sure is, but he should still have enough hearts to get through it. What? Hearts? He's a boy, he only has one heart. You silly old codger. That is? Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Correct! Yes! Yes! yes. yes. He, he got, got to, to the, the final, final level. round! Level? The level with the hardest monsters, the biggest jumps in a boss battle like no other! What are you talking about? Monsters, boss battles, jumps? Have you even seen the show before, you soggy old piece of bread? What? I give up! Well, our reigning champion Will has made it to the final round. Can he do it and be the first person to win five games in a row and earn his nickname Five Win Will? Find out after the commercial break. And we're clear. Do you have three minutes, everyone? Oh, three minutes. Did you hear that, Cecil? We should watch Church Babies. Ah, uh, good idea. Serious? Play me Church Babies. What's wrong with your wee pad? Hello, my tiny, minuscule little human friends. Hi. Oh, so good to be back here at church. Church. Yes, my friend. Uh, but I've had a rough week. No. Yes, on Monday, I finally figured out my daddy's passcode for his phone. Ooh, phone. Yes, on Tuesday, I finally get hold of his phone and play Chubby Wubby Woo. Oh, play on phone. <laughs> on Wednesday, he changed passcode. I'm locked out again. Foiled, I tell you. Mm. But you are only one who listen to me. So let me tell to you, number one problem of week. You'll see, I have dream where I am Super Boris. Super. <laughs> I have super strength, I have super speed, I have lasers that come from eyes. When the bad guys come near me, I'm like, pow! Pow! <laughs> <laughs> when the ninjas come, I'm like, hey wah hey wah uh, Yes, yes, my friend. And then one day, I have big giant robot. I have met my match. I wake up terrified, sweating. I am very fearful. Oh! Pow. Hey, wah! What was that, my friend? Pow. Wah! <gasps> Are you telling to me that just like Jesus, who has power over death because he was raised up from the dead after three days and now is the king over everything in the whole world and creation, I can trust in him. Is that what you are telling to me, my friend? Power. <sighs> oh, yes. Flex, my little friend, flex. This was it. This was it. The, the final, final challenge. challenge. Okay, Will, to win this, you have 60 seconds to answer seven questions right. Okay, Dan, to win this, you have 60 seconds to clear seven Wompsters. Ready, set, go! go! Yeah. Correct! Success. Incorrect. Oh. That's okay. Fail. Ah, that's okay. Incorrect. <laughs> Fail. Incorrect. <laughs> Fail. Incorrect. <laughs> Fail. Ah. Well, he's dead. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> this is not how it ends. Come on, Five Win Wheel. You can do it! I couldn't agree more. I don't know why I said that. But game on. 30 seconds. Success. Correct. Success. Correct. Success. Correct. 10 seconds. Correct. Success. 5 seconds. You know what, Cecil? That reminds me of something. What's that, Marish? Well, he was completely dead. There was no way he was coming back from that, but he did. Ah, yes, just like Jesus, who was crucified for our sins. 
He had got a cross and died. There was no way coming back from that. <laughs> Unless you were the son of God. Mm. And he was. He defeated death and rose again, and he's coming back to conquer death forever. Yes, death was a loser. Ha <laughs> ha, and Jesus was the winner. Just like our friend here was the winner. Well done, FMD. FMD? His name is Will. Will? Who's Will? The contestant on the game show we're watching. <laughs> I stopped watching this game so ages ago. I've been watching FMD's game online. See? What's he doing? He's dancing. Well, I'm off for a whiz. Um. Now, uh, excuse me. I just need to change his All through the Gospels, we see the divine power that Jesus has from giving sight to the blind, healing the deaf, the disabled, and raising people from the dead all the way to the cross and the empty tomb. We learn that Jesus is a miracle worker, a way maker, and our very, very best friend in our times of need. And he doesn't just want to be here for us during the difficult times. He wants to be with us during the happy times too. Jesus wants to be our best friend all through our highs and lows. All we have to do is ask him to come live in our hearts and be our savior. And he will be with us forever and ever, friends. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for coming to earth to live a perfect and sinless life. Thank you so much for going to the cross for our sins. And thank you so much for defeating death so that death doesn't have any power over us anymore. Come live in our hearts, Jesus. Protect us, cover us, be with us, be our shield, be our guard be our protector. You are our beginning and you are our end. You are our Lord and our Savior and we love you with all of our hearts, all of our mind and all our soul and our strength. We give our lives to you and we praise you and we glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, friends. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope that you have a wonderful week and I'll see you next week. Bye! What you gonna do when you're all grown up? I know what they're saying when they talk to me, but here's the truth. No matter what. Oh